My name is Gunnar Doyle, and for our research paper, I did wage gaps between men and women. The background of my study and my introduction was for my research topic, I chose wage gaps between men and women. This recently has been a big issue in the news, but has been going on for many, many years. It really became a big issue when the women's national soccer team won the World Cup and got no real recognition for what they did, plus didn't really do anything for their pay. So say LeBron James goes and wins the national title for the Lakers or whatever. He gets a certain bonus for winning the national title and a slight pay increase for his next season. Now, the women's soccer team has the same thing, but is nowhere near to what the men make in that sport. It also helped that I have a girlfriend who plays for the University of Platteville in Wisconsin, and I talked to her about my topic, I talked to her teammates about my topic, and I talked to the softball team here at Madison about my topic so I could pick their minds a little bit of how they feel about this topic. My problem statement was most women, not just in sports, but all areas, feel as if they're not being paid or even recognized as much as their men in their specific areas. This recent debate resurfaced after the national soccer team won the World Cup a few years ago. The purpose of this study is to explore the reasons why this is happening and why nothing has been able to change in recent years. With this research, I am trying to make everyone realize that this is a pretty reoccurring problem and there needs to be some sort of solution to this problem very, very soon. My research questions for my topic are, how do you think women are being treated financially in these past few years? My second one is, what needs to be changed with the wage gaps between men and women? The significance of my research is the study is important because we can start rewarding the women that are making better progress than some of the men in this world and stop rewarding certain gentlemen for crappy results. Also, both are getting equal amounts of respect when they go certain places, like say dealerships, you know, a girl going there alone isn't going to get the same respect as her going with her boyfriend or something like that. Like I've seen. I've witnessed that it's just not fair in places along those lines. Sometimes the case may be that the women are even bringing in more revenue than the male competitors and they aren't getting any sort of raise. So the women's soccer team it was or is making more, like bringing in more revenue than the male soccer team but is not getting the amount of recognition that they should be or anything like that. My lit overview, I took three of my uh, sources and just put them on there. I didn't really have the space to put the rest of them, but my first one was sports and male domination, and a little blurb of that is for centuries, male athletes have dominated the sports world and continue to do so, but during the whole domination period, women's quest for equality was not unheard about. So they were always making their presence known. Fair treatment. Uh, this theme is a little off topic from my papers about like the sports side a little bit. Although athletes' lives, uh, males get more praise and recognition for the things they do all the time. But at the same time, you don't see any women making the front lines of the papers or anything like that. So like LeBron James does something cool in the NBA and... Like, say, Alex Morgan does something cool and for the soccer team. LeBron James is going to be in the front cover, and Alex Morgan won't be on the front cover. Um, Job-specific sex differences. Uh, this theme is a little off, little off of the athletic side of my thesis, but instead of just athletic inequality, it talks about the sexual part of the inequality, just like in sports. Usually the better players or higher up in the company are going to make more money than the lower people. But sometimes they don't give the races to the people who deserve them, and sometimes those are women. Um, my overview of my research design, uh, my approach was I used qualitative, a qualitative approach. Um, in the context of my study, I conducted my research through academic articles and journals. And my data sources, uh, I chose this topic because I had a very good and easy person to bounce ideas off. 
my results were there is a pretty significant wage gap in our society that needs to be addressed and soon. Uh, it is unfair for someone to work as hard or harder than another person and not get paid nearly as much as, as them could because of their gender. My recommendations and strengths and limitations were recommend taking lots more time to thoroughly complete all the work that is required and done for this paper um, and take more time or ask a larger amount of questions just so I can get a more variety of answers. My strengths, I thought, were I directly had people who experienced this topic, like my girlfriend, her soccer team, and the softball team here at Madison. I also asked questions to, like, males and females. I didn't really try to speci specify on one gender or the other. I wanted to get a mixture of both so I could get both sides of the topic. And my limitations, um, not many people really, I didn't really have a lot of people to interview, especially because I was kind of in a crunch time. Um, I tried doing a survey and I didn't really get the as many answers as I thought I was going to get, so I switched to a interview so I can get more specified answers.